What up, YouTube? It's your boy, AG, man. It's been a minute, I know, man, but I'm back, man. I had a whole lot of personal issues come up in my life, so quite a few of y'all, man, hit me up asking me to do some more, some more videos, but I just, I just didn't have the time, man, but I'm back now, so hopefully y'all enjoy this one. I know y'all liked um, the last video that I did uh, using a machine like an MPC, so I got, you know, another sampler that that was near and dear to my heart, which was the ASR-10. And what I liked about the ASR-10 is that when you sample it, a lot of times you might not know exactly how you want to chop things. And that particular sample just sampler made it easier for you to do that. Um, because when you were chopping, you had to go by ear and it allowed you to copy and paste all across the keys. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna use the, the machine like an ASR-10. So hopefully y'all enjoy it. Check it out. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. All right, first, I'm gonna find a little ra a random sample. Uh, let me see. All right, I'll take that one right there. So what I did was I loaded up on this on this first one, first pad. All right. Now, uh, can y'all see? What I'm gonna do is the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure sample is deselected and browse is deselected because that's not gonna put you in the right windows. All right. The next thing you wanna do is look at your left display, go up to the top. And when you see when you see sound net, make sure that's lit up. And when you see module wet, make sure that's lit up. All right. Now that's gonna take you to the pitch and gate window. Oh, excuse me. That's gonna take you to the voice and settings window. You wanna make sure your polyphony is set to one. So you got a knob right under polyphony. You wanna turn that down to one. The next knob is gonna be your choke group. You want to make sure that's set to one. So turn the knob till it sets to one. All right. And what that does is when I hit this, the polyphony is gonna make it make it cut off itself. All right. What the choke group is gonna do is the next pad that I add when I duplicate it, that particular pad is gonna cut off. So if I hit you know pad two, and then I hit pad one, pad one is gonna cut pad two off. If I hit pad one, then hit pad two, pad two is gonna cut pad one off. So, all right, let's 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 do that. So now we got that set up like that. The other thing you can do is, if you wanted to go back to sampling now, hit the sampling tab up at the top. All right, and you can like set up the first chop that you want. That way when you start duplicating it, it won't be as hard to find the next chop so you don't have to go through the entire sample to find it. So say for instance, I got that one started. Right there where it's supposed to start. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end it. Um, let's, let's see. So what I did was I made it that long. So now when I duplicate it, what you do is hold duplicate, Press the pad that you want to duplicate. Still holding duplicate. Now press the next pad that you want it to actually copy to. Alright, so now when I press pad 2, same thing. So, pad 1, because I put the polyphony on 1, if I... It's going to cut it off. And I, put the, and I set the choke group all to one so when I hit pad one or two both of them gonna cut each other off whichever one I hit so alright so that's how you do it alright now pad two I wanna make a different chop so I, I got pad two selected now automatically if you haven't touched the screen or anything it's gonna go it's gonna be on the edit well just make sure you got the edit selected um, in the sampling window. Alright, so once we hit pad 2, now you can move the start to where you want. But what I like to do is I like to move the end point first. 
That way you can have, you know, however long you want to have the sampling for the sample for. And then I would just move the start to maybe replace or get right at the end of the last of the the pad before. So I mean you can just play with it any kind of way you want. So say So you wanted to not start that right there on that, you can probably, you know, go back up to the start down, twist it just a little bit, and you can hear it. So maybe you might want to start it right there. And, and keep it like that, and then maybe you might want to throw like a little um, delay or echo on there to give it like a little suspenseful feel. You know, that, that, that probably would sound good on that one. But, um, so you got that right there. Then what you want to do is, because that's the second chop that you got, hold duplicate, hit the second pad, because that's the one you want to duplicate. Then choose, I would choose pad three, but you can select whatever you want to select. And still hold and duplicate, Press that pad. So now you're going to have the same thing on both of those pads. And then you would just repeat those steps to, to chop everything up the way that you want it. Now, with, like I said, what I liked about the ASR-10 is that you can lay all the, the pads across the keys. Or all the chops across the keys. And, and like I said, you can listen to it and chop based on hearing versus looking at the waveform. So what I like to do after that is, I don't know if I can show you it, but if you look at the computer screen, you want to go to, let me see, let me see if I can take it down. See if I can bring it over here. Focus on. All right, this is a little difficult because I'm holding it, trying to move the mouse and everything too. All right, you want to select group. Make sure group is selected. All right, now can you see? Do -do -do. Alright, under group A, you want to click a little arrow. Now you want to come down to sound MIDI back setup. Click that, this screen is going to pop up. Alright, this is the, the one that you want to select. Sounds to MIDI note. MIDI note channel, root channel, you can leave that all the same so tick that right there click apply now what that's gonna do is take let's see it's gonna take these chops these three chops that I got right here and spread them out over the keys starting with C3 alright so if I press this Right there, if I press that one, you see that pad is lighting up. Okay. Now when I go to this one, that's my second chop. Now if I go here, that's my third chop. And then you would just, you know, play this however you want to play it. And I haven't chopped it up yet, you know, how I would like, but So that way if you like if you like keys man and and 
you know, if you you used to dealing with like say like the Triton or the Phantom or things like that, like this is a good way to actually get back into that workflow. And but still, you would have to. I don't have my knobs and stuff set up to control machine, and I, I'm not sure if you can. I'm pretty sure you can do that, but I don't have. I don't. I haven't done that. So you still would have to control you know the chops and and chopping everything up through these knobs like how you would do it regularly but i mean that's that's if you would like to do it this way and um that's pretty much that tip man if y'all have any questions or if y'all need me to explain it a little bit more in depth you can hit me up like i said man leave a comment rate uh subscribe if you haven't already real quick people i forgot man i'll be uh putting together a contest and with the contest I want to do one for rappers and one for producers the one for the rappers I recently did a video snippets uh, for AG Got Beats volume 1 you can hop on any beat that you want and post a video response with that track to that to that particular video and the winner of that contest will receive exclusive rights to that particular track that they chose um, still working out the particulars, so hit me up if that's something that you'd be interested in. And the producers, I'm working on that drum kit right now. I've been having a lot of people hit me up asking me about it. So when I get that together, I want to have a contest for the producers. Um, what what I'll do is say y'all choose any tutorial video that I did. You make a track using those particular tips, and the winner of that contest will get those exclusive drum kits for free. Alright, so if that's something that y'all interested in, hit me up, let me know. I'll be working on that shortly. Um, you already know my Twitter, at AG Got Beats. AG Got Beats Volume 1 is on my website, aggotbeats.com. And I'll probably post the, the drum kits up there too. So hit me up. Till the next time, man, I'll holler at y'all. Peace.